Okay, so the Wayland protocol for fractional scaling has landed into the Wayland protocol's uh, GitHub, GitLab repository. But what does that mean? Like, what will change in the future and when? I've read articles and actually none of them seem to have the answer right now. They're very vague. They say something like, this will allow for fractional scaling, but didn't we have that already? So I actually took a day yesterday to investigate about this. Uh, the video that I published yesterday was pre-recorded because all of the time was meant like to try to understand what was going on. And I think I did. And by the way, shout out to both David Edmundson, who explained to me a lot of these things and also, you know, actually pushed this merge request to Wayland protocol forwards a lot. He organized like meetings for everybody to uh, go in and uh, organize how to actually do this. And also shout out to Nate Graham for explaining the missing part <laughs> because it, it was a long journey. So I'm going to cover like roughly how is tiling uh, scaling working right now in X11 and Wayland and what does this patch actually change and uh, when. So let me start off by saying that some applications are um, support being drawn at fractional scaling, like support drawing at fractional scaling. And Qt is an example of this. If you tell Qt, hey Qt, please draw me this application and at 1.27, as an example, fractional scaling, uh, it should be able to do that. Some other applications uh, don't, and that truly really depends on the toolkit, like Qt is able to do that. GTK, to make as an, an, another example, isn't. There was this possibility with like GTK2, but with GTK3, that possibility was removed, and GTK is only able to do integer scaling. And that is also the case for GTK4, and if anything changes about this, it will probably be in like GTK, five, so a long way into the future. The developers seem to be convinced that actually implementing fractional scaling in JTK would take a lot of time and effort and that it can be done right now. Especially, they say, because Wayland support only supports integer scaling anyway, but we'll get to that. So if you are an X11, how it works right now is that applications that do support uh, this scaling, um, fractional scaling out of the box, just draw themselves like at fra that fractional scaling and nothing is wrong, really. All of what I'm going to talk about from now on is making sure that what works in X11 also works in Wayland, funnily enough. I know this doesn't make for a very interesting beginning, but you might also ask, how do we get fractional scaling if an application does not support fractional scaling? For X11, I'm actually not sure because that's really not the point of the video, but to Wayland, we'll talk about that a lot. So Wayland, so when switching to Wayland, something was missing. So firstly, so basically applications couldn't draw themselves uh, to a fractional scaling, even if they could before, now they don't have the possibility anymore. That, that's the idea on Wayland. They can only do integer scaling. So how do we still achieve fractional scaling in Wayland? Because right now, if you go to settings, you do have fractional scaling. How do we do that in Wayland, even though we, we don't have fractional scaling in Wayland anymore? So what happens is that an application um, is drawn at two times the uh, scaling. So that is integer scaling. And then it is resized to be 1.5. So you draw at two times and then you downscale that image to 1.5. And by doing that, you actually get like kind of okay fractional scaling. That does have a significant downside though. Firstly, it actually might lead to some blurry images, but I won't get into that. But most importantly, actually drawing everything at two times the size, even though you only needed like 1.5, will take much more resources even to actually store on a much bigger surface what you're drawing. And also the downscaling process, like downscaling an image from two times as big to 1.5, even like all the time, that also takes some significant processing power. So you are wasting some resources to do fractional scaling when some of the applications like those based on Qt in theory could do fractional scaling already by themselves. So the situation wasn't perfect. So, but here's the thing. 
If you go into the settings of Kiddy Plasma right now and you go into the scaling section, you will see that there are a couple of settings that allow you to choose how um, X11 applications in Wayland are scaled and whoa, what's going on? <laughs> Okay, so the fact is that when we switched to Wayland, it's not like all applications were ready for Wayland already. So some applications are run with via X Wayland. That is, they are actually X11 applications that are run as if the, they were X11 application, but on Wayland. So they are still considered like X11 clients, but they are underneath Wayland. Now, here's the thing, we knew that in X11, applications that do support fractional scaling could draw them at fractional scaling. So with X Wayland, uh, for our X Wayland client, you could actually go to the X Wayland client and because underneath it's still an X11 client, you could ask that client to be drawn at fractional scaling, like proper fractional scaling, not the resize up and then down thing that Wayland does. But that also has an issue because some applications do support this fractional scaling, some others don't. So what happens if you go for that option, if you actually ask the X Wayland clients to do proper fractional scaling, is that some applications will support it and will look very good, some other applications will not support it and they won't be scaled at all. So you will get like big dolphin because maybe Dolphin should support this fractional scaling and then small Nautilus because Nautilus I think does not support fraction, this uh, proper fractional scaling. So for X Wayland clients in Wayland you get the option in system settings to either ask for all applications to be upscaled and then downscaled like I said previously just like all Wayland applications or you have the other options option just for X Wayland to actually ask for proper fractional scaling, but that will only work with applications that support it. That's the situation. So luckily, most, if not all, of the KDE and GNOME applications that you're using nowadays are not X Wayland, are like proper Wayland applications inside of Wayland, but stuff like Firefox and Chrome might still be X Wayland. I think Firefox, you can currently switch, uh, switch it to a proper Wayland window in Wayland, but we'll see, we, we won't. Y you can see if you want Firefox to be proper Wayland in Wayland. Right now, as far as I know, for most people, it's still X Wayland. So Wayland windows inside of Wayland seem, seem to actually be more limited in what they can do compared to X11 and X Wayland applications, because even X Wayland applications, you could go to them and ask to do proper fractional scaling. That is not something you can do in Wayland. Now, a little info on how window managers are currently offering fractional scaling. Kwin pra practically lets you choose anything, not like any value, but a lot of values, even very niche ones. Uh, whereas Matter, which is GNOME's window manager, only allows you to choose, I think that out of the box, just one and two scaling, but as an experimental feature, also 1.25, 1.50 and what. 1.75. That might have changed, I'm not sure, haven't used Wayland in um, GNOME, sorry, in a bit, so you can check that, but that's how it was. Okay, so what has changed thanks to this new Wayland fractional scaling protocol? Now, compositors, that is like window managers, so like Kwin for KDE and Matter for GNOME, can ask clients, only the Wayland clients, so not X Wayland, actual Wayland clients, to please do proper fractional scaling if they support it. Which means, in theory, we'll get to practice in a bit, in theory, if there is an application that supports being drawn and fractional scaling like Qt, you could go that to that application and Kwin can ask, please uh, draw yourself at a fractional scaling instead of drawing that at integer scaling two times as big and then downsizing, which again is kind of a waste of resources. So we can already understand a bit better how this will impact KDE and GNOME differently. So in theory, Qt applications, most of KDE applications are Qt applications, if not all, they all support fractional scaling in theory. So you will have a big impact. You will get back to have proper fractional scaling for almost all applications. 
In GNOME it's very different. JDK does not support fractional scaling, doesn't seem to want to right now, so you will not actually get fractional scaling. So I've seen lots of people say that fractional scaling situation is better on KDE than on GNOME. Not quite, it's better on Qt than on JDK. So all we Qt KDE people are happy and they will live peacefully from now on. Not, not quite, not quite. Nothing goes completely well from the beginning to the end. So to have this, you actually have to implement. So yes, fractional scaling for WLAN protocol has landed, but it's just like the protocol. You can actually go and see the actual merge request, see the file that have changed. It's interesting because it's more like just a spec and you can go through it. Maybe it's not fully understandable, but you can get an idea. To implement that, you actually have to implement it into, you know, Kwin to actually ask for uh, this fractional scaling in Wayland and on Qt to be drawn if asked at um, fractional scaling. That is how I understood it. So this requires changes to Kwin and Qt. So here's the thing I've been told, I don't know the technical details, that this might not come at all for Qt5 due to technical reasons. Like there are patches already, but for Qt5, they might not be able to land. If that is the case, and again, who knows, We're it's too soon yet, but if the Qt5 patch doesn't indeed land and it does land only for Qt6, it means that it will work only for Qt6 applications. There are already some Qt6 applications uh, out there, like I think OBS, latest version, but currently all of KDE applications are still Qt5. Maybe they will, will switch to Qt6 with like KDE Plasma 6 and KDE Frameworks 6. I don't know if that's going to be aligned or not, but it means that you would have to wait anyway for these Qt6 applications to arrive because Qt5 might not support this feature. This is very important. And it's also very important to notice that in the GNOME world, not much will change, I think. Like, yeah, sure, if you're using applications that do support fractional scaling in GNOME, Matter is implementing um, this uh, specification, so that should improve, but JDK application in GNOME doesn't seem to do fractional scaling anyway. So I, as far as I understood it, they will still be drawn at two times the size and then downscale to the fractional scaling you want. So you're not getting anything there. So th this is funny. <laughs> So we are just getting with this littlest uh, protocol patch what we had for both X11 and X Wayland um, Windows in Wayland, if I understood it correctly. If I made any mistake, feel free to say so, because this was actually very complex to put all together and I wouldn't be surprised. I will make sure to like pin comments or add stuff in the description if anything I've stated is incorrect. I wanna end really thanking all the sponsors, especially because in the last videos I have not shown like the list of sponsors and that is because I usually do that when I'm using the green screen over there. I haven't made a videos with a green screen, Again, yesterday's was pre-recorded and I've actually received a very big donations that made sure that I got to my goal of 700 euros for this month. And with some luck, I will also meet that for next month because it was so much this month that some, like all the money that went uh, past the goal will switch to next month. So it's going really well. I really want to thanks, thank all sponsors and very soon you'll actually get a list of all sponsors as soon as I get back to the green screen. I actually ordered a new one. So thanks everybody for following along. I hope that the explanation was somewhat useful. I've tried my best and uh, see you tomorrow with yet another video.